so on to example number six where we will try to find the deflection at the free end of this cantilever beam with uniformly distributed load having magnitude of w per meter run that means uh, for a length of one meter the total load acting will be w okay anyway one more thing to notice that the length of the beam is l now how to proceed with such a question and how to use castigliano theorem we know very well by castigliano theorem let's say we want to find the deflection at this very point b y b can be written as del u by del of a load that load should be acting over here do you see any load acting at p no so what we'll do is we are going to put a fictitious load that fictitious load will be here or you may also refer to this as an imaginary load i m g p let's call this as load p right how do you proceed from here this is going to be interesting and let's finish this in the next five minutes or so here we go so del u by del p once all the calculations are done once you have the final expression you can simply put this load equal to zero and get the final value of deflection at this point b if you haven't seen my previous video do see that also there also we used a fictitious load an imaginary load okay here we go so uh we can find a deflection through this formula partial derivative of the strain energy at this point b and differentiating with respect to p secondly you need the strain energy for strain energy u is equal to integral m square d x over 2 e i that is the formula that you have to use again here you've got another objective you have to find this m hmm? so, so so see the chain of events for finding the deflection at b what you need to find is the strain energy for finding the strain energy you need the moment and for finding the moment you need to take a section okay and prop it would be appropriate if we take it from the pre end let's do it okay so let me just explain this to you so we have taken the section from the rightmost part of the beam the bending moment here has been assumed as clockwise this is a rule okay so section has been taken at a distance of x from the rightmost end and this is the udl that we have to deal now we know very well that in one meter the load acting corresponding to the udl is w so for x meters it is going to be equal to w into x just think that we have multiplied by x onto both the sides right it is as simple now let's let's do this so, so the first thing that we'll do is um, let's let me okay now moment is equal to zero done take a look about this very point we are going to find the moments at this very point we have assumed the moment to be clockwise therefore minus m x what else sir there is this p into x it is clockwise moment therefore minus p x done what about the moment corresponding to this udl this udl can be replaced with a point load of magnitude w into x which lies at a distance of x by 2 so w x into x by 2 clockwise moment minus w x square by 2 is equal to 0 so you can say that the moment is equal to negative of w x square by 2 plus p x now this moment has to be plugged in over here to find the strain energy and then that value of strain energy has to be plugged in over here to find the deflection at this pre end okay um there is an issue that is something that i have uh, addressed in the previous problem also m has to be squared and then it has to be integrated so if you try to square this and then integrate it and then put the limits that will turn into a big big solution quite long and elaborate so in order to get rid of that what we shall do is we shall put the value of u as this much over here straight away hmm? 
and then we can make it weaker when i say weaker what does that mean just take a look let's say we straight away want the deflection yb is equal to del over del p of the strain energy now this strain energy is this much integral of m square d x over 2 e i keep watching this is very very interesting super stuff now we've got to apply the chain rule we'll take this partial derivative inside the integral hmm? just take a look this is going to be fun and let me take this 1 over 2 e i outside and inside the integral you've got del by del p of m square that's the first thing and d x wonderful now we are going to apply the chain rule 1 over 2 e i del by del p of m square will be equal to 2m but it will leave a residue del m by del p and times of dx and this entire stuff has to be integrated from limit x is equal to 0 to x is equal to l over here right it's as simple and now let me make some more space 1 over 2 e i inside what do we have 2m try to take a look at this how much is 2m multiply this m with 2 hmm? negative of wx square plus 2px so that is what we have minus of wx square plus 2px right multiplied by again again there is a multiplication sign what is del m by del p so you have to differentiate this with respect to p so this portion will be differentiated del p by del p will be 1 and x is left and here there is no p term so this will become 0 here there is x is going to be left right so uh, you just have an x term but with a negative sign please note minus x times of dx take the x inside negative negative will become positive uh, y b is equal to 1 over 2 e i integration 0 to l w x cube plus 2 p x square okay please note x cube will become x power 4 by 4 x square will become x cube by 3 now you just need to plug in the limits O2 is 8 ATI. So the final value which we've got is deflection at the free end of the cantilever is equal to W L power 4 over 8 E I. That's your final answer. Right? Okay, so guys, uh, this is uh, going to be the end of the deflection series, I'm afraid. And uh, if you've got any other problems, do send it to me hmm? via the chat box on my application uh, if possible i'll take that problem also so yes that was all from my side for today if you find this content helpful feel free to like the video and share it with your friends thank you very much for watching